got villains. We, we got villains out here. You know? We hurt. We get headaches. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking. So stay. All you have to do is stay. Yo, lockout men. Lockout men. Yeah, that's me. I mean, your head, bruh. It's your conscience talking. Yo, I turned around and I, I read this article in CDL for Life. And I thought about you. I really don't know why, but this, this article will probably touch a lot of people. And I really want a lot of people to know this. So I want to share it with them. Yo, why, why are you talking about me for? Why, why, why you thought about me? Hey, I don't understand why this cat thought about me, but hey, let's see what he got to talk about. So sorry for coming into your head today, and you know, but you you need to hear this too. So, so check it out. This this article comes from CDL for Life and. A CDL for Life reader written this article, and I hope uh, I, I hope this helps somebody that may need to hear this. Somebody may need to hear it. I I agree. I think somebody may just need to hear this uh, this type of speech because you, you don't know what people be going through, man. Uh, it's it's a tough life out here. There was drivers over the years that succeeded, and there are some drivers that attempted, and some drivers have lived it. But I finally decided to speak up in hopes that this will help out others. Definitely feel free to share this post if you feel the same way, or if you know somebody else that feels the same way. So I have the last 24 hours to think this over and I wanted to say things that may hopefully help others before they decide to leave this world and their families and their young kids behind wondering what the fuck happened especially when the kids are young and can't really understand that why my dad isn't ever coming home. Us drivers are often treated poorly at the shippers, receivers, on the road, at work, and even from our own families. The perception is that we have a gravy job and all kinds of time, but that is far from the truth. The reality is that we have an extremely tough job. We have laws to follow, regulations, law enforcement watching closely. And just, and that's just the half of it. More, more than that, when you think the about it. The other side is the delivery times, the fuel, the law books, hours off duty to stay legal, maintenance, and so forth and so on. More problems for owner operators than it is for company drivers. The hard part for us drivers is to stay sane. We spend hours turning into days, turning into weeks, turning into years on the road alone and literally go crazy. Speak on that. Speak it's on just that. us, the CB, the stereo, and Zello. And you know what? I don't even mess with Zello no more. I mean, at one point, Zello used to be cool and everything. You know, it was something to pass the time with. But Zello, man, you, you, you come across so many fake people in there, man. It's crazy. I mean, you can 
You can literally make yourself out to be something else in Zella. That's, that's why I just don't mess with it no more. And people wonder why we go nuts. Most times we are loud. Don't always say the right thing. Harsh, blunt, and why? Exactly, if you you gotta have like, I don't know, you, it's, it's some type of mental aspect that you really gotta have to be, a, to be an over the road truck driver. A person that's, that's sacrificing their life and their time to come out here to bring products for other people, that's a special kind of person. Try living how we do and see how long you stay normal. The truth is, in the statistics for us, we have a very high suicidal and mental health issue, and it's all because of how we live. We spend so much time alone in our heads that there is no way around it. It's a proven fact that depression for us is directly related to our profession, and there's no way to combat that except for proper medication or stopping the job entirely. But there's also other ways to combat that too. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that part right there because there is many ways to combat depression. You know, you just can't let depression just get the better part of you. You know what I'm saying? You, you just can't. And medicine and everything sometimes work, sometimes help. But, you know, when people stop taking their medicine and that depression creeps back up, when they got all that idle time, you just gotta, you, you just gotta find something, find something to defeat that. Go ahead, continue. Many of us have developed substance abuse, anger issues due to the job. Now, I will probably say that anger issues uh, and uh, lots of other things that come with the job, you know, you see a lot of stuff that goes on out here. Four wheelers messing you over, cutting you off, giving you the finger for no reason, just Messing with you, and you it just changed your whole attitude as well. So there's a lot of other things that can develop while you're a truck driver. For me, I think my gambling problem became a little bit more extensive when I became a truck driver. I'm guilty of that as well. <laughs> Luckily for me, I do know some people that can that I could probably call up, chop it up with them, you know. That'll help keep me sane, you know, while I'm out here on this road. But though my issues is easy for me to combat, it's unfortunate that some people out there are not as fortunate as I am. The last few days, a family lost a brother, a son, a friend, and most of all, a little girl or boy had lost their dad or mother. And that's because of a lot of truck driver issues out here. I mean, there's there has been so, so many accidents, so many fatalities. And you really don't know the reason why, so I'm not really going to speculate on that, but... There's a lot of issues that's, that's causing these drivers to be distracted. We as the trucking community need to stop running people into the ground. Learn to be nicer to everyone we come across because we have no clue the issues they may be facing when we see them. Yo, all it takes is a simple hello in passing. Maybe a helping hand on the road. Even a chat at the fuel pumps while filling up. 
or you know like when you pass these truckers on the road and all like that you know you just happen to look out the window and you see a passing trucker yo throw up the deuces to him you know what i'm saying just like you know just what's up you know sometimes that friendly face that 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 friendly smile would change the perception of a person's day that person could probably have a fucked up day and then you come along with that that gentle smile that warm feeling that might change their whole attitude you know so just try that once in a while that's all it's not hard you never know what struggles someone may be facing and one small act of kindness could change someone's mind about ending it all or just change their day entirely. If you see someone struggling or in need, wait, wait, is that, that part right there, right there. Why you have to go and mention that part right there, that part. If you see somebody in need don't break out your camera and videotape their struggles. Don't do that. That's the problem with us as a community right now. We want to hurry up. We, we want to hurry up and get the views. We want to throw it up on social media. We want to be, we want it, we want it to go viral because of their struggles. Oh man, look at that Swift driver right there.
ahora sí andan haciendo ejercicio, José. Está por acá por la cámara porque te va a meter al Facebook. Now, I know the one guy had the the camera rolling and everything, and that's understandable, but at least at least the other dude got out, which I couldn't understand a word he was saying, but at least he got out and he was willing to help the young driver that's in need. Now, how the driver got that bad boy jackknife in that building like that, I really can't tell you, but I don't know. But at least he got out to help. So, guys, I mean, if you see somebody struggling or really need help with anything, don't just break out your camera and, and videotape their struggles. Offer a little bit of assistance. See if you can help change that driver's life. Maybe he was trained poor. Maybe he just, he just didn't know. But see if you can change his life. If you see someone struggling or in need, by all means, reach out. Do all that you can. If need be, take them for help for yourself. Anyone that knows me, and you guys know me, you know, well, you, you know of me, but you don't know me personally. But you know me well enough to know that if you have any problems, just reach out to me. There's ways to get in to get into me. You can hit me up in the DM or on Instagram. You can hit me up in the comments below or hit me up in my Gmail at lockoutmen at gmail.com. Leave me your number and I'll call and talk to you if you want somebody to talk. I'm up all day. So by all means, hit me up. If you're in your head and life seems not worth living, give me a chance to help. Yo, definitely, definitely. I mean, if you feel some kind of way, now I don't know what happened to the, that, that probably might've happened to the one driver where he was pulled off to the side of the road and they, they noticed that he was, you know, DOA there. They, they, they don't know if it was suicide or natural causes. Some is saying it's suicide, but if it's that, then still, you know, it's still sad. But if you guys feel some kind of way out here and y'all come across this video and y'all, and, and y'all feel that, you know, that I'm, I'm able to, you know, talk with you or something like that. Or maybe you just need somebody to just listen. You know, sometimes talking is just not the case. You just need somebody there to just listen. You know, you need to vent. You need to get it out. A lot of us need to do that. But we just don't have no outlet. We just don't have no outlet to do it. And we just let it build and build and build and build. And it's just... It's just a wow factor right now. So, like he said, if you need somebody to talk to, if you feel some kind of way, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to reach out to me, all right? I'm always willing to talk. And most times, a familiar voice and a nice talk will help. If someone needs the time to talk, I'm always there. Or if you need me at night, I mean, try me at night. I'll try and get up. Don't be afraid to call. I'm always up during the day, pretty much. You can hit me up then. To save a life and a family's headache, it is well worth the call. So please think, call, and get help. This is the only life Yo, you have. man. 
Live it to the fullest. That's some real talk. That is some real talk right there. Yo, I, I think I appreciate you coming in and hollering at me, man. I, I appreciate you doing that. And I, I appreciate you guys. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys. You know, the way that I get to know you guys is through the comments. So definitely hit me up in the comments and keep the conversation going. And if you guys feel some kind of way, man, yo, don't don't hesitate to hit me up, man. But that was some good, real facts talking right there. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the uh, <clears throat> to the uh, CDL for Life driver that that written that post man that that's something that people need to see something that people need to hear it, they you know they just don't understand the truckers lifestyle out here and this is not <clears throat> this is not all that gravy now i mean it is you know it is to a point because you can get into this game and you can make money you can see the world you can do, you know, do what you need to do for your family. But you got to understand that the sacrifices that you're giving, the sacrifices that you're doing, you know, to to make somebody else happy, make sure you get out of the truck. Don't make this truck make you. You make the truck. So make sure you get out of the truck and enjoy this trucking game. Is it, 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 it can really put a hurting on your mental if you let it, if you let it. And one other thing, this trucking world is a small world. It is so small that it's crazy. You will eventually run into me one day. And when you do, yo, holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? I'll chop it up with you, give you a few minutes or whatever. You know, chop it up with me because this is a small world. Hey, thanks, Conscience. I really do appreciate you coming in hollering at me. Yo, y'all take it easy. Peace. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. But you gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize, don't be running back. Oh, ain't no sunshine when I'm gone. Baby, ain't no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine. Sunshine.